How's everyone? Grant here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to do a video on the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus front facing camera, specifically focused in on the new feature that Samsung had added, which is the autofocus feature. And so right now I'm recording the audio on an external microphone that's clipped to me just because it's a bit windy out here. I don't want the wind to interfere with the audio. So hopefully you're getting a lot better audio through this external mic. Just to note, it's not the, the audio coming from the Galaxy S8 because we're mainly focused in on picture quality and specifically the autofocus feature. And so I was shooting some other additional footage for another video with the front facing camera outside with the S8 and I noticed a lot of focus hunting going on. I saw through the viewfinder the picture was pulsing in and out constantly trying to hunt for focus and thinking it's because there's a lot of background uh, outdoors and it's throwing the camera off and so it's co continuously trying to hunt for focus. I noticed when I took the footage off of the camera the focus hunting didn't look to, didn't seem to look as bad as it did while I was recording it but it was still noticeable and after the fact I noticed that Samsung actually has a autofocus lock on their front facing camera. So if you were just tap on the object that you want to focus in on, it'll lock the focus. And that should really clear up that autofocus hunting issue. So I wanted to test that out and show that to you guys here if you're having similar issues with focus hunting on the front facing camera on the Galaxy S8 or your S8 Plus. But let's first test out the autofocus feature because it is actually a great feature when it's working well as intended. So I've got a tennis ball here and if I hold it up to the camera, you'll notice it, the autofocus immediately locked in on that tennis ball in the foreground and I'm blurred out in the background. So if I remove the tennis ball, it'll refocus back in on me like it just did. So we'll try that again, bring the ball, it focuses in on the ball. Again, I'm blurred out and I remove the ball and it focuses it back in on me. So this can be a very useful tool with the front facing camera. If you wanna get some nice bokeh effect or that blurred out background, you can do that really simply with that autofocus. And so, like I said, when it works well, it's a very nice feature, but when you're outside or when you're in an area that could possibly throw off the focus, uh, you could see that pulsing issues and you would see that uh, continual autofocus happening with your front facing video and it really spoils the, the picture quality. And so if I go ahead and lock in the autofocus now, so I basically just tapped on my face and now I see an icon in the viewfinder that says autofocus is now locked. So if I move around, you shouldn't be seeing too much or you shouldn't be seeing any uh, uh, focus hunting going on. If I bring back the ball into the foreground, it's blurred out, I'm still in focus. I remove the ball, focus is still locked in on me. So again, ball's in the foreground, it's still blurred out, I'm still in focus. So focus lock definitely seems to work here on the front facing camera. So if you're noticing those focus hunting issues, just go ahead and tap on the subject that you're trying to film that you wanna lock the focus in on and you won't see any of those focus hunting issues in your front facing camera footage on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. So hopefully this is very helpful for you guys and if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. But as always, thanks for watching.